Utilizing the Avada flip boxes makes for a great way to implement content on your site without taking up a whole bunch of space. So these are the flip boxes here. We just have some dummy flip boxes set up with some dummy content. But you can see this little square has like a nice headline and a subheading. And then if somebody finds interest in that and they come to scroll over it, it flips over to the second box that actually has some written text that then the person can read. So it is just a great way. It's kind of like an accordion in a sense that you have some added content in an area without having it take up a huge section of the page. So like these, for example, you have you know an icon image, a title, then some explanation, and then this read more button. It takes up quite a bit of space here. But you could do something similar with the flip boxes and it would ultimately just take up less space. It's kind of fun and cool for people to be able to flip through these. Uh, so let's take a look at what the options are. So I have this page pulled up where we have these three flip boxes. So to create these, all I did was create ele uh, click the add element button right here and then click on flip boxes. And then these are going to be the actual boxes here on the left. So the content for the boxes. And then all of this information is styling basically the design of the flip boxes. So first of all, we'll click this pen tool to edit this first flip box. And then I'm just going to copy in some text, some dummy text here so that you can see where this all goes. So I just want to mix it up to some degree just so you can see what each of these sections is about. And I'm actually going to make this one a little bit longer so you can see how this works. So this is the front side heading, the back side heading, meaning the heading you'll see when the, when the box flips around. And then the front side content, so that goes under this front side heading. And then you have the longer form content, which is going to be this final section here. So if we save that, the problem is right now it's only set to be one column. So let's do two columns and then duplicate this because we need at least two of these to have two columns. And then we'll take a look and see how this is showing up. So you can see we've got the main headline there, the lorem ipsum dolor set amet. <laughs> this is an old Latin language that not, doesn't really exist anymore, so probably butchering that. But um, <clears throat> then you have the secondary content underneath that. So you can see that here. So we've got this main headline and then uh, the content underneath it. And then the headline here which is the backside headline, and then the, the full-blown content here. And then you can choose an icon, so you could use an icon image. Um, you could use one of these icons that is already preset, and then you'll be able to style the icon as well. So you can take a look and see what that looks like. So again, it's kind of like these, but in a flip box where you can have a lot more content in a smaller space. So that's typically what they're used for. Um, and then there's also all this styling over here. So you can, by default, have all of the boxes flip in a certain direction. So these are going to be global, uh, meaning it'll influence or it'll impact all of the different flip boxes that you create here. There's still some design features where you can edit individually each of the flip boxes. So if you need like different colors on one of them to make it stand out or something, you can do that. Um, but you can choose like equal heights, set an icon globally, choose the colors of the icon, the, uh, the rotation, whether you want it to be 90 or 180. So you can play around with these different style features to get a sense of what it looks like but i hope that that was a helpful overview to help you get a grasp on what flip boxes are and how to use the avada flip boxes if there's anything you have questions about don't hesitate to reach out you can just drop your questions in the comment section below i'll be sure to get back to them there 
And until next time, take care.